Hola, mi gente. Maybe that's gonna be my opening. I just gotta come up with a good closing line. <sighs> Hashtag first world problems. I'm Damaris, and I am the ambivalent CrossFitter, and you are watching vlog number 24. La CrossFitter. Ambivalente. I have no idea how to say that in Spanish. Ambivalent was not a word that came up when I was growing up. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I obviously did not make it to the gym. As you can see from my hair, it's actually done. Don't I look cute? Let's counteract that. I did double chin. If you're in Reading, you should check out Jefferson State CrossFit, by the way. Very cool gym. I love it there. I feel completely encouraged and like these are my people. And that is probably the most important part about CrossFit, is community. Okay, so I didn't make it to the gym because I went on the website and there was no, and there was, and there was, ugh, and there was no workout posted. No workout of the day posted. And I personally took that as a sign from the gods that I should not go to the gym today. Because when you get such a clear sign from the heavens, by golly, you do not ignore it. So I set my alarm for six and I slept through it. So I didn't get up to like 6.30. I guess I needed it. So let's talk about body image. Really mainly, let's talk about my body image. Cause I think you will be surprised at what I think of myself. Or maybe you won't be. So to set the stage for this conversation, I had a lot of self-esteem issues growing up because I have never been a small girl. I was a size nine, women's nine, when I was 13 years old. My daughter, she's a two. I think she might be hitting four right now. I had no waist, I was built like a boy. And that maintained throughout my entire life. I've never been a curvy girl, I've been just straight. And after I started having kids, I just became a big round apple with chicken legs. So I've got quite a bit of self-loathing going on. Fast forward to 2013, when I met Jana that fateful day on a softball field at a church. Since I started doing CrossFit, I have a level of confidence that I have never had before. I kinda don't care what I look like. Why? Because I'm working my tail off at a gym. And if I don't look like a supermodel, guess what? Who cares? In my head, I am at least five foot six not five foot one and I move with lithe grace across the gym floor when you look at the video though that is not the case but in my head that's what's happening I'm not the roly-poly middle-aged woman that you see trudging from one station to the next I am an athlete and I bound from one station to the next ridiculous I know but I think it's okay I think I'm making up for the fact that for years and years and years I thought of myself as basically a wart. I would regularly describe myself as the short, fat, and ugly girl. And now I don't feel that way at all about myself. Thank you, CrossFit. I may not be there yet. <laughs> I may not be a skinny supermodel, but I am just the way I'm supposed to be. Okay, maybe not. I got some work to do. But it says a lot that I feel good about myself and I don't look in the mirror and hate what's going on. I call that a success. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Great, what can I get for you today? Um, I'd like a medium almond milk latte. Yeah, hot? Yes, please. There you oh, go. thanks. Thank you. And where are you headed? Work. <laughs> almond milk latte. Thank Enjoy. you. All right, have a great day. Such happy people. If you have a negative body image, I highly recommend you start exercising. In my opinion, the best kind of exercise to cure issues with body image is CrossFit. Because even when you're a pudgy middle-aged woman like me, you feel like a beast when you finish a workout. It's a beautiful thing when the mirror and the scale don't rule you and don't control your thoughts. So come on in. The water's great. Keep it real, people. Thanks for watching and have 